Welcome to Knee of the Curve Weekend Tech Update. I'm Emmett Short. Breaking uh, everything. <laughs> Silicon Valley Bank collapsed this week, showing the banking system's obvious downsides. I mean, at least when I lost all my money, I was still left with my totally unique and impossible to duplicate JPEGs. <laughs> A cure for drunkenness might be close. Scientists in Texas this week were able to quickly sober up drunk mice with an injection. They celebrated by scoring the mice some blow. <laughs> yes. They look very happy. A German research team created nanoscale motors to give poorly swimming sperm a fighting chance to fertilize an egg. Because that's what people want. The slowest sperm. <laughs> Wokeness has finally gone microscopic. We're giving bad sperm equity. When asked why he was so passionate about the project, this researcher said, no comment. Apparently, when trying to make women's dreams come true, these researchers wanted to be inclusive to nightmares. <laughs> Well-known Tesla critic Dan O'Dowd, seen here admiring his mannequin menagerie, has made his entire online reputation revolve around trashing Tesla, full self-driving, because his own company makes competing software. Dan tweeted, FSD drives like a suicidal drunk 13-year-old. Dan's software, on the other hand, drives like a 13-year-old who has already committed suicide. <laughs> Dan got great news this week when he found out the Model Y steering wheels were just falling off. This could only happen to Tesla and Ford and Hyundai and Nissan. Okay, apparently it's a thing. And good thing we have the NHTSA regulators out there investigating, but if my steering wheel pops off and my choices are certain death with Dan's software... I think I'll take my chances with the suicidal drunk 13-year-old. Elon stepped in bird shit again this week in a bizarre public exit interview. Elon called a Twitter employee, an ex-Twitter employee, the worst. Turns out Iceland thought he was the best. Yeah, the guy was Iceland's 2022 person of the year. That's embarrassing for Elon. But to be fair, it's not hard to get person of the year in Iceland like Four people live there. They just rotate it, actually. He's been person of the year nine times. The media criticized Elon for mocking the guy's disability. He tweeted, he claims his disability prevents him from typing, yet he's tweeting up a storm. What I love is that this is 100% an Asperger's tweet. This tweet is dripping with disability. This tweet is so out of touch, I thought it was written by Dan O'Dowd. By the way, it's totally fair for the media to criticize Elon's Asperger's tweet in the same way it is fair to think it's possible for a guy that's disabled to be shady. Stephen Hawking cheated on his wife. If that's not handy capable. I mean, look, if you really want to be inclusive, how about this headline? CNN publicly mocks CEO with Asperger's who implied disabled person was capable enough to cheat the system. True inclusivity means everyone gets their balls busted. But the media is always screaming, we have to treat people equally by treating them special. But look what happens when you actually do have equal opportunity shit talk. This is the most press Iceland's person of the year has ever gotten. <laughs> and in case you're worried about the whole idea of punching up or punching down on this guy, don't worry, it's okay to make fun of this dude. He's better than you. If you want to see some of my stand-up, check it out right here. Patreon members get exclusive access, like we hang out and watch tech launches together. You get voting rights, merch, just check the perks. The goal? Make Knee of the Curve the next daily show. Or last week tonight, live audiences, guest interviews, correspondents, and a staff of comedy writers focused on tech, science, culture. The budget for all of it clearly laid out on Patreon. Check it out.